Hi, my name's Matt Dagley. This is The Daily. Are you ready to go to YCon? Are you ready? Yeah? Let's go! So it's 5.40 a.m. As you can tell, Christy's really excited <laughs> to be up. Um, so we're about to jump in the car, drive to Yarmouth, to YCon, the gaming comic book convention. Uh, the cosplay uh, competition is today, so we're going to uh, go check that out. So, Yarmouth, here we come. So we're here we're in front of the uh, Rod Grand Hotel where they're having YCon, the gaming mm -hmm. and comic book convention. That's right. <laughs> so we're gonna go in and uh, check it out. Passes. You got your pass, Christy? Yep. <laughs> so we're good to go. I have these ones, which I have tattooed for. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I have this one. Christy and I are taking a break from uh, YCon. That's Christy. And we're going to check out this park. What's it called? Frost Park. Frost Park. So they got a really nice fountain here in Frost Park. But they also have warnings about electrical hazards if you go swimming or wading in the fountain. So uh, not recommended. Did you see that bench over there? Sit and chat a while? Sit and chat a while bench. What does APNS mean? I have no idea. You probably have to live in Yarmouth to know what that is. <laughs> so here in Yarmouth, I think they get some uh, high winds. The uh, tree behind me is growing like this. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's windy and I'm cold. Let's go. It's so windy down here today. A lot of the fountains are spilling out onto the sidewalk. <laughs> So I'm here at YCon, our first interview of the day. First one. Angie, she's here doing a lot of uh, face paint, body paint, mm -hmm. and that sort of thing. And I'll get you to uh, tell us a little bit about it. Uh, I'm Angie from Angie's Breathing Canvas. You can find me on Facebook uh, under that name, that page name. Uh, I am a makeup artist, local makeup artist, um, and special effects artist. I've been doing it for about 13 years, I'd say, on and off, uh, all self-taught. And today I'm doing face painting, a little bit of special effects. And I sell buttons that I make as well and cosmetic contacts and everything. I'm from Weymouth, Nova Scotia. And yeah, I just love um, creating different characters on people and having them love the skin that they're in or whichever character they want to be in. So check out uh, Angie on uh, Facebook mm -hmm. and uh, buttons, face paint. She does it all. I do it all. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thanks so much. Isn't that the one you guys put all your tickets in? Somebody was out there, there was a girl out there putting all her tickets in that one. <laughs> See what happens when you buy most of the tickets? <laughs> we need somebody else to win. No name, 4042. I found a toonie in the parking lot and I used to buy this this ticket and it got entered into um, what was it, a little figurine that was painted up like a uh, Wicon and there was only two tickets in the box and I lost. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> Loser. <laughs> See this guy here? He cleaned up. He cleaned up the auction. <laughs> he won most of it. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Doesn't need the Christy seal of approval. Thanks, Ari. Right. Galaxy. I'm Holly. I have the booth called Handmade by Holly, and I am here uh, selling my amazing little artworky plushies. 
And I'm also sewing while I'm here. So if it was something small like galaxy print bats and galaxy print um, stingrays, I certainly can get it done while I'm here. I'm very impressed with this weekend and I hope to be back again next year. And I really hope it gets bigger and better every year. Two, one, go. Pick your fingers. Everybody got the same thing. So I'm here with John, uh, part of the Maritime Ghostbusters, and I'll just get you to tell us a little bit about uh, what the Maritime Ghostbusters is. Maritime Ghostbusters is a regional cosplay group. We take our love of our fran of our fandom, Ghostbusters, and um, we try to just get out in the community. And we actually raise money for a local. Well, I guess regional charity, the uh, IWK Foundation, which supports the IWK Hospital. Um, we really stand behind them, so that's basically what we do. We, we just have a good time and try and find different ways to entertain everyone. So how much uh, Ghostbusters uh, gear, equipment, figures, well, what would you say you got? <laughs> that I have? Yeah. Um, too, much. I, my, too much, but I pale in comparison to some of our other members who have so much stuff, and we just hate them. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. We love it. We love. It's just great. Um, some of the stuff. Closets it, full. Houses full. <laughs> we have mu we have much space on the walls that is going to be filled. Nice. Yes. <laughs> well, thanks for speaking. No to problem. Me and, Thank you. And we picked up some of uh, the uh, Ghostbusters pins as well. So. Oh, cool. <laughs> cool. Well, that's so. appreciated. <laughs> right on. All right. Have a good day. You too. So now Christy and I are going on our lunch break. We're going to walk down to the waterfront and go to a place called the Red Shed. What is it, burgers and seafood? Yeah. And uh, I was actually gonna go there the last time I was in Yarmouth when I was doing the uh, helicopter pad uh, training videos. That was when they had that fire downtown and traffic was crazy. And uh, the wind and the waves were coming up on the dock. So I chose not to go then. So now we're gonna go now. Yep. The Red Shed, lunchtime. This must be a low tide. So I was just filming the boats over here and I said, oh, it looks like low tide. And what did you say? It smells like it. it smells like it, yeah. <laughs> it it definitely smells like it. So we won't be having the red shed. Um, they're closed. I don't know why. I don't know what their hours are. They're not posted anywhere. There was actually some people uh, standing here when we first got here. They were also uh, confused. confused about it when it opens, but uh, we're basically not eating here. So now we're gonna find somewhere else in Yarmouth to eat, so uh, wish us luck. Christy's been calling it uh, Bird Island. If anyone knows the real name of the island, uh, just leave it in the comments. <laughs> but uh, I think Bird Island is uh, pretty reasonable of a name. Yeah, that's all I see. It's an island, it's where all the birds hang out. Yeah. So that's what we'll call it for now. We're just gonna go back to the hotel where YCON is being held. And we're gonna go to uh, Gale's Eatery. Uh, it seems like a lot of things in Yarmouth are actually closed in the downtown on Sundays. The cosplay contest is uh, coming up at two, so really at this point, we just gotta eat something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're about to cross the crosswalk. As everyone knows, I don't have a lot of luck with this. On a crosswalk! Yeah, it is! So we'll see what happens. <laughs> Wow, I think we're good. <laughs> All right, we're gonna eat up next. Uh, cosplay. Yum, yum. So we just finished up at uh, Gail's Eatery. Um, they had a Wicon menu, um, but it was mostly like uh, pizza, wings, um, chicken fingers, that kind of thing. So we just ordered off the regular menu. I got the um, clubhouse sandwich with Caesar salad, and Christy got the all day breakfast. And uh, the meals were really good. Yeah, it was a really good spot. Everybody back here ready?
give a big round of applause for all our cosplayers. I want to point out that uh, the judges had an extremely difficult time, as you could probably imagine. There were so many cool uh, costumes. So I'm here at YCon with Dean, president of YCon? That's right, yeah. All official? All official, <laughs> yeah, that's right, yeah. Uh, and it's been a great uh, event. How did the uh, weekend go, would you say? Oh, it was a success. It was definitely what we wanted. We were hoping that uh, we would have a good crowd, um, and we did. We had a good uh, collection of vendors that gave us um, just a really broad range of items that people would be looking for. We had a lot of games, we had a lot oh, of events, yeah. we had cosplay, we had a miniature painting competition, we had prizes, it was just it was just on and on. It was a very busy, very filled weekend. Clearly this was something that Yarmouth needed. And oh, you know, everybody spoke up and we did really well. Yeah, we just, yeah. Uh, the cosplay just uh, finished up. That's right, yeah. And yeah. Uh, a lot of people were pretty excited. Yeah, Especially yeah, a lot absolutely. of the uh, the younger kids, they really had a good time, yeah. so. Yeah, exactly, so I mean, it was a lot of fun. So we're hoping that a lot of folks will come out next year. Next year is the uh, the theme, it's the year of the, uh, the D20. Oh yeah. It's year, it's 2020, so that's gonna be our theme for next year. We're hoping it to be bigger, better, a lot more games, a lot more prizes, a lot of more comics, cosplay. Yeah, you name it, we're gonna have oh, yeah. it. It's all about getting the word out. Exactly. Well, that's <laughs> so, stupid, yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Perfect. And uh, thanks for coming out here. Yeah. Thanks for having yeah. us, for sure. No, no problem. We had a great day, so. Yeah. 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 It's a good time. Yeah. Yeah. What was your favorite? What did you like? Cosplay. Cosplay. <laughs> Cosplay. That's, that's, that's what brought me in. That's a, that's a favorite of a lot of people. Yeah. Um, yeah. Next year, I'm hoping it'll be a lot bigger. Yeah, for sure. Perfect. That's the aim. Yeah. All right. So. All right. We'll, we'll yeah. hopefully see you guys here next year. That's right. Yeah, come on out. Thanks. Thanks. All right. So that's a wrap on YCon. It was a good time. Uh, cosplay. Um, miniature what? painting. Yeah, the miniature painting contest there and uh, it was a really neat uh, experience. It's good to be in Yarmouth and uh, since we're in Yarmouth and it's also the uh, logo for YCon, we're going to go check out uh, the lighthouse. Yep. You remember what the lighthouse is called? Me either, so I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> Let's go. Apparently they call it an apocor, and it's built really narrow so the wind resistance goes around it. The drive home was pretty good, but then we started to see some lightning. Captured it on my SJ cam. Let's slow it down a little bit more. And then a little bit more again. It's pretty hard to, uh, to see it on there just because it's so fast. And uh, of course right after that, just a downpour. Really uh, slow driving home. I almost forgot about today's viewer question. Today's question is... What superpower did the original Superman not possess? And in brackets, easy. Because there is actually a, a Canadian commercial. You guys might remember those uh, Heritage Minutes. Where? If you're not fast, you're going to miss your train. That's it. A bullet! A bullet! He's faster? No, he's faster than a speeding bullet! Come on, get on it. No one's going to read a comic strip about a strong man in tights, Joe. It'll never fly. Fly, no. But he can leap over tall buildings. Oh, wow, man. See what your cousin Frank says in Toronto. And the answer's in there. Originally, Superman could not fly. He could only leap over tall buildings. If you have a question for Daily Dagley, please go to daily.dagleymedia.com, scroll to the bottom of the page, and fill out the form. I look forward to uh, reading your questions and answering them on the show. I'd like to thank Dean and the YCON staff for having us out to the event and uh, all the vendors and cosplayers and everyone who we interviewed thanks a lot for being on camera that brings us to the end of another episode daily.daglymedia.com please like comment and subscribe to the dagly media youtube channel and uh, i'll see you next time so we're at the lighthouse i don't know why i'm pointing you can't see it <laughs> <laughs> We'll have a lot of bloopers on this one. <clears throat>